What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you new here, my name is Nate. I own a custom integration company, meaning I help people implement technology into their homes and businesses. We handle everything from network design and deployment to surveillance cameras, distributed audio, and everything smart home. I alluded to it in our last video, but we have a huge announcement that Ubiquity accepted us into their creator program, and I can't thank them enough for reaching out and making this happen. They sent us a huge box of products that we're gonna implement into the showroom in this video, and we can't wait to show you all the different types of things they sent us and how we use them here. We will have an affiliate link that I'll put down in the description below. If you ever are looking for Ubiquity products for your home or business, it helps us out a ton if you use that. For what we do every day for clients, we need to have a rock solid backbone, meaning the network. Everything that we do with control systems is typically IP or IR control. And the only way that we can accomplish a hiccup free control system in a residential property is if the network can hold up and handle everything that we're doing. Hence why we always go back to Ubiquity and why we're so excited to partner with them uh, on all of our ongoing projects. As always, if you're looking for help on your property or your home and you have questions about your Ubiquity network or maybe your smart home, we'd love to consult with you. Our contact information is in the description below. So when we first started, Ring worked with us directly. Uh, we, we used to sell a ton of Ring products direct to consumer um, and they outfitted the whole property with a bunch of their cameras and equipment. I'm not the world's biggest Ring fan um, in general, purely just based on a lot of the battery operated stuff. Anything that's hardwired, I have no problem with at all. But a lot of the battery stuff really drives me crazy. So we will be replacing this ring doorbell with the G4 Pro. The problem is, this is a battery doorbell. Um, there is no, because it's a commercial building, there's no typical doorbell wired to here. Um, I bet if I dug hard enough, I bet there is one pre the siding getting redone but what we need to do is pull cat all the way over down okay so again i apologize for the mic there we're working on it i promise but we're going to go ahead and walk through how we pulled new cat cable for that poe doorbell uh, what we ended up doing was going in and taking two of the existing lines that we had and just cutting them off of the existing equipment and then pulling them further over. So we are gonna go ahead and fish down the wall. Uh, fortunately for us, there's already an alarm panel there. So we have a fairly large access hole to go ahead and grab our fish rod from. So pro tip, disregard all the, the Romex in here. This was all here before we did anything. But when you're walking in a insulated cover attic space, you always want to look for joists. They're going to run perpendicular to your roof line. That's what you can stand on. You cannot stand on anything else. You will go through the ceiling, I promise. It's happened. So here you just see us go ahead and Pat is gonna try and grab our fish line. So we set a fiberglass rod down from the top um, through the ceiling space and then we're going to remove the old ring doorbell and cut in a smaller hole so that we can fish from this side into that box, connect our cable and pull it all the way through. So Ubiquity sent us the G4 Pro doorbell, uh, the PoE version. They do make a non-PoE version that will just use your standard doorbell wiring, which is um, non-polarized cable. So you can go ahead and just connect either end. Um, and then typically in the non-PoE version, you're gonna get a chime kit that will go into the existing chime for the house. So once we fished that through, what we did is go ahead and connect our cable to the fiberglass rod and pulled it back up into the ceiling so that we can use the attic space to come back down on the other side of the building uh, through our wall cavity uh, back into our network rack. So here you see me, I had the 
uh, plate that con the extension plate that comes with the G4 doorbell mounted originally, but I didn't love how far off the wall it actually sat. So what I did is I just went ahead and recessed the existing space into the siding so that the back of the doorbell would fit. Took a couple tries to make sure that we got the spacing right. This building, uh, I've talked about it in previous ones, is a very old building. Uh, so we have vinyl siding, foam, plasterboard, and then uh, sheathing. So that's why you see me using such long screws. Here we're just going to go ahead and start installing all of the equipment, including the UDM Pro Max, the USW24 Pro Max, um, Ubiquiti's patch panels, and that open slot uh, ends up being an NVR. Do want to say the startup on the usw24 pro was uh the, with the ether lighting the startup sequence is um very funny it was a nice surprise when we popped it on so previously in the space uh, we're just taking out our old access point that we have in what we call the conference room um, we already have cat wired for most of the products in here so this is an easy swap uh, just take down the old mounting hardware swap it out for ubiquity's mounting hardware and we put up a U7 Pro. We did make sure that when we patched this down that any of the products that are regularly being used, for example, the keystones that are in both offices, the NVR, the access points, all of those types of things are on the two and a half gig ports in the switch. I will say if you do install a lot of uh, Ubiquity access points, we install a ton of them. It's hit or miss. I can sometimes get it in first shot, sometimes it takes me multiple. So we're gonna talk about some of the products that we installed in this video that Ubiquity had sent us, uh, starting with the router that we put in. So we use the UDM Pro Max. Uh, we typically install a lot of the UDM Pros, but we were very excited to see the Pro Max come through. Uh, the benefits of the Pro Max and the kind of the features of it, you're going to have a 10 gig, it's a 10 gig cloud gateway, uh, 200 unified devices, 2000 plus clients available on it, 5 gigabit uh, ISP routing, and then you have redundant NVR storage and tw two hard drive slots built in. Um, as far as ports go on it, you have one 10 gig SFP port, you have eight um, gigabyte RJ45 ports, you have one two and a half gig RJ45 port, and then obviously like I mentioned the two three and a half uh, inch hard drive ports built in. So the next piece that you saw us install in this video was the USW24 port pro switch. The benefits and some of the features that come along with this is going to be you have the ether lighting built in, which in my opinion does look great but it does serve a, a function besides just looking cool is it gives you the ability to indicate port location speed and uplink uh, native vlan network things like that all by the port color that you assign to it another big benefit uh, for someone especially like our industry where a lot of the products that we install are poe is you have a significantly higher amount of poe power available on that switch in comparison to the standard 24 poe um, the standard 24 poe i believe is 95 watts available on it uh, the max is a 400 watt total poe availability uh, as far as ports go on this switch, you have eight two and a half gig PoE plus plus ports. You have 16 gigabyte ports, including eight PoE plus and eight PoE plus um, plus. And then as far as the interconnectivity, you have two 10 gig SFP ports built directly in. Once again, thank you to Ubiquity for sending out the equipment for us to test and to put into our showroom and the opportunity to make content surrounding their products. If you have any questions about the types of products that we installed here or any of the types of services that we offer, please drop a comment below. We'll have all the products that we used in today's video linked in the description with affiliate links as always. And if you're looking to hire us for your home project or for your business, our contact information is in the description.